Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you for the love and support. Um, being able to resonate and knowing we have a lot in common and I think it's very neat and magical where we can all connect on the same thing. Even though we might be going through some different battles, we're all on on that same level of you know resonating so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you haven't been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell um so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you feel like you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Stop, stop. <laughs> Sorry about that. My cat was messing with my stuff. I love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading towards a positive direction. Also, uh, if you feel like the video is giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that's going through some really trying times right now, please go ahead and share. We stop. Distractions. Um, please go ahead and share while you're at it. Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me. I greatly appreciate it and love y'all from the bottom of my heart for that. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Today, I'm listening to pure, clean, positive energy, vibration, meditation, music, healing, music, relaxing mind, body, and soul. And I will go ahead and post that link in the description box below. And today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, not our wounds that make us ugly, but how we choose to carry them, how we choose to live with them that defines our beauty. I heard that the other day, and I was like, ooh, I like that, I like that. Because it's just like so many times we, we can be emotionally and mentally scarred to the point where, you know, I know a lot of people that I've met in, you know, just in passing or even when I worked with it's never good to sit up here and walk around like what you went through. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just like, I can, you wouldn't even know if I was really going through things. Like if I had to work with somebody, they would never know what I was going through because I never let that part of me show. You know, I like to smile. I like to giggle. I like to make people laugh, you know, act silly when I can, you know, because it's just like, that's the beautiful side of you knowing that no matter whatever traumatizing situation it has put you through when you choose to live your life knowing better days are coming i can still smile even though this has been done to me this has been done that has been done that has been done that is truly a blessing that really is truly a blessing to me because there uh, i have too many people walk around and they get mad when i tell them that i said why are you walking around with what you look like whatever you went through is you're looking like whatever you went through and that is not good. <laughs> you know, and they're like, God, dog, Rosalind. But I'm serious. I mean, I told, you know, I told people, if you, if I can sit down and tell you my life story, you would never know the situation I was going through because I don't allow that to show. You know, there's some times that, you know, I could have been crying or something like that. It, it has to be a very detrimental time for me if you catch me slipping like that. You know, and sometimes it's like people that really know me, if I'm getting real quiet, they say, Rosalind, what's wrong with you? I'm like, oh, nothing. You know, because not all the time you have to respond to, you know, explain yourself on reason why you're like, they're like, Rosalind, you are not fine. But, you know, you go through things, you go through them. And, um, and then when you just having situations happen to you left and right, choose to look at the, hold on, pause for the cause. My bad, y'all, there's too much going on. If it ain't my daughter calling me. It was my cat messing with me. But anyways, we go through so many different things. We don't need to walk around looking like our battles. We really don't. You know, when you know it, it could be a bad day, try to find something good in that day. You know, yeah, tire went flat, this and this and that. But, you know, like you can sit up here and say, okay, my tire busted. I had that about two weeks ago. And it was just like... There were so many things that I had to be blessed for because it was like I had to take the highway to take my daughter where she had to go because she was getting ready to go on her spring break. And I was wondering why my truck kept on, you know, kept on getting real shaky and all this stuff. Now, mind you, I had to go like three exits up and I'm doing like almost 70. 
uh, on the highway. And then the next thing, you know, the, the next day, you know, when my daughter left, I was like, oh, I'm going to have all this time to myself. And then I had my granddaughter and I had to go to the store. But it just so happened, her mom forgot to leave in the car seat. And then the next following day, that's when my tire busted. And when it busted, it had a big hole in it and the tread just came right off of it. You know, and my, my um, ex was like, you are so lucky you did not flip this truck over. And I almost did. But then I got so upset and then I had to take myself back. I said, you know what? You are very blessed because the fact is you were driving around with that that tire like that. You had your daughter in the car and the next day you were about to take your granddaughter with you. I mean, it was the same day when my tire was about to blow at that time because it was just like I didn't go nowhere for that whole day. And that was a blessing to me because it, it was like I wouldn't have been able to forgive myself if, you know, I was in this car and I got into a wreck and my granddaughter was with me. I, oh. Uh -uh. anybody in the car with me I would have been so upset but it's just the fact is when I can go and look at certain things it's like yeah you know I still grieve about my dad's passing and stuff like that but then I can say you know what look at all the beautiful things that you got within this tragedy you know you got to find out every aspect of yourself and you're still learning and you're still growing and you're still healing each and every day even though it might be hard at times and I really have to tell my I have to coach myself this I'll be crying in tears but just to know I can watch something on TV and know it is, is resonating right where I can feel their pain they're going through and being able to say, you know what, I'm glad I'm healing from this. You know, I don't understand the battle. I don't understand, you know, the bigger picture of it. You know, well, I can understand it, but I don't understand, you know, what's going to, the repercussions are going to happen after the, all, all that situation. But then I can just say, you know, I'm helping other people heal in different ways they never thought they were able to i'm able to help them see the things with them within themselves that they weren't able to see before or they're growing and they're understanding why they had to go through the things they had to go through and just being able to know you can carry around those scars in the most beautiful way is just so it's just a beautiful blessing to me and it's just like you know y'all's comments and I tell y'all this all the time there's sometimes y'all leave these comments to me and it takes me at least about a day and a half to two days because y'all open your lives up to me and you're sharing deep dark emotions that really messed you up the long way and it's just like there's one right now I need to go ahead and respond to but it hurt my heart so much just to know this individual went through these things I mean after I read it yesterday I couldn't even respond right away because that was just too much just to know this person went through that and it broke my heart to know you know what that's a blessing because anybody who went through a situation like that I'm surprised they didn't commit suicide or hurt the people that causes pain to them that was a blessing and they I, and I get that I get them because it's just like you know I can sit to myself I say I'm so glad I'm not the old Rosalind because the old Rosalind would have been on the next 48 the last 48 and the next year is 48 hours well, you know, with the people that did the stuff to me, but I'm so glad I'm not that person anymore because I always used to want to retaliate to anybody that tried to hurt me or my kids. I don't play that. I don't, when it comes to my family, I never played that. I never did. And it's just like, I'd be ready to peel somebody's scalp back. I ain't got time. But it's just the whole point being able to know that I grew from so many different things, even though I'm still healing. It's a day by day basis because it's like all the things that happened to me, I don't tell everybody everything that happened to me. But I tell you enough to, for you to realize the things that you go through, that we can get through these things. It might it, it, You're not going to get over it overnight. But when you can see the blessing within the tragedy of knowing this, this, this beautiful scar, this pain, this trauma, resentment, this hatred that you might have had for yourself, other people will allow you to heal and grow and get that strength that you never thought you were capable of having again. And you, it made you feel like, after this happened, I don't know if I can go back the same. You're not supposed to go back the same. That was the whole point on you going through that. You had to be able to see that strength. You know, be that lioness or that lion of that pride, that proud pride land. If you talk about like, you know, Lion King, you had to be that king or that queen, you know, of, of your pride land. Being able to heal from the things that was meant to break you. And there's a lot of times we go through these things. I really think that's the reason why we go through these hardships. You know, we have people die that we love so dearly. People that really cared about us pass away and they're not here anymore. Being able to um, come from, you know, 
redeem yourself after being physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, sexually abused in any kind of way. Being able to heal from that, being able to be that poster board of your victor, being able to say, you know, yes, these things happened to me, but I overcame all these things that was meant and sent to break me. Those are the most beautiful scars you should be able to represent in the most beautiful way. So it's just when you know you're going through stuff, and I'm trying not to get emotional because that's, that's beautiful to me, being able to know that you can endure so much pain and be able to put a smile on your face and help others do the same that takes a lot of strength you know I, I see a lot of y'all y'all can open up your hearts to me and, and feel comfortable with telling me that and it makes me feel blessed and honored for you to be able to do that because I don't cast any judgment on nobody nobody is like God you know I don't I'll, I don't allow you know bigotry I don't allow judgment you know only thing that I don't I don't condone is like abusing you know senior citizens and children that's the one thing i i, I, I don't <laughs> i'll put judgment up real quick and i try not to be a hypocrite but it's just with me being a parent you know what i'm saying uh i just can't I, I don't i don't deal with that but but just being able to know that you can heal from those scars you know be able to put a little band-aid on and say okay this is my band-aid this is my scar but my scar can tell so many stories so being able to look at your scars and know that you should be proud to represent those because those are the things that has cut you but yet you're healing so beautifully in so many different ways that you can't even explain. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. Please drop me a line or two. I'd love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Give me your feedback. Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share. And if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe and put a thumbs up and even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video so I will see you on my next video I hope you have a blessed safe weekend who is Friday TGIF I know y'all glad I know I am but I hope y'all be safe be responsible at everything you do know you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and I hope and wish y'all many blessings yet to come and i love you from the bottom of my heart and i'll talk to you later oh yeah did i say you were truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always some out there praying for your better days if i didn't say that i'm saying it again and my post notification shout out goes to uh zoo scott and Maurice Slee, and sydney much love to you and i will talk to you in my next video much love peace be wild